Here's another example of um, axial deformation, but um, this uh, problem it involves um, the composite material. So, such a material made of two materials of different, um, of very different properties. No? For this uh, case, we have uh, steel encased within, uh, encased with uh, with concrete. So, we're given with the dimension eight feet, and then you have the nine inches and six inches, sixteen. This is sixteen inches. So this is the cross-sectional area and then you have the modulus of elasticity of, the, of steel and concrete you have 4.2 and 2.29 so steel has much higher uh, modulus of elasticity compared to concrete so for this problem we are required to find the area of steel cross-sectional area of steel so that the 60 kip uh, load vertical loading is equally shared between the steel and the concrete so the problem statement for this uh, example is uh, is uh, written in the description of this video so just uh, read the description for your reference no? so uh, since we are asked to find the uh, ASD uh, our working equation here so actually deformation because uh, these two materials are treated as one I also say that the deformation of steel is also equal to deformation of con concrete so how much the steel component deforms also equal with how much the concrete component deforms so and we also have another equation that p c is just equal to p s t as i mentioned earlier so in the, descrip the description that the problem states that um, you need to find a s t so that the forces or the the vertical loading is equally shared between the concrete and the steel so here we have this one so um, summation of forces along the y-axis so if we have this one the fbd we have the 60 kips and we have the force of the concrete and we have the force of steel summation of forces along y Equal zero, we have PC plus PST is equal to 16. And since we are treating this as equal, you will have 30 kips. And then let's continue with this uh, with this one. This one we have PL or PST, LST is equal to A, S, T, E, S, T equals p c l c divided by a c e c this cancels out because uh, both are equal this also cancels out cancel out because um, both are equal this is known this is known this is unknown this is unknown we're after this one so we have a s t We'll uh, transfer this to this and then transfer the other two to the numerator on the other side. You will have AC, EC over EST. And you know that AC is just, um, AC is uh, the total, the whole cross sectional area minus the area of steel. So we have 9 times 16. inches squared minus AST this is the area for concrete and then we have the EC which is given times 10 to the 3 KSI divided by your 29 times 10 to the 3 KSI cancel then we now have AST on both sides so just na lang we have AST equals 18.2 inches squared so that's it that's the area of um, steel needed so that the forces 
uh, no, no, the vertical loading 60 gauge is uh, equally shared between the two materials so what if you're going to find the uh, deformation of the steel just, uh, just have to add this one it's PL over AE of steel this is known 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 so we we'll have you will have a deformation steel equal to 0 0.00545 inches so anyway uh, this uh, value is also the deformation of your concrete because of your first um, relationship here that the deformation in steel is also the same with the deformation of concrete so that's just how you approach these kinds of problem for composite materials wherein you have um, two different materials but treated as one so usually these are this is just the way you can do solve these um, types of problems